Amy from Craftside, and I'm here today with Amy Moranaka, author of Zaka Handmaids. So nice to see you again, Amy. Thanks for having me, Stephanie. Today you have a great project to show us that's made out of scraps of fabric and a styrofoam wreath. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Today I'd like to show you how to create this fabric rag wreath um, using styrofoam wreath and um, some stash of fabric. I thrown in some linen because um, I like to mix and match linen with um, cotton prints. And also, I hang my product from the project from the book. These are reversible baby booties from my book that I hang in, in the middle of the wreath. That is just adorable. Now, your book is called Zaka Handmaids. Can you tell us what the word Zaka means? Sure. Zaka means um, it refers in Japanese uh, everyday um, necessities or small household goods that are used in our lives, like bags and pouches, baby items, kitchen stuff, and so on. Mm -hmm. And these baby booties would definitely be one of those cute little necessities. Yes. That's I awesome. So. Okay, so what do we need to do this project? I see we have a big stack of fabric here. Yes. Okay, first we need a styrofoam wreath. This mm -hmm. is 16 inches, but you can get a bigger one or smaller one, depending mm -hmm. on your preference. Some stash of fabric. I've thrown in some linen and some prints. Mm -hmm. Also, I would need a pinking shears. These are scissors with a sawtooth uh, blades. Mm -hmm. And why are we using those? Oh, um, just to cut out the fabrics to give a effect. A nice little edge to yes, them. Yes, edge to I them, see. exactly. Mm -hmm. And then I would also need a chopstick with a pointed tip. If you can't find a chopstick, you can also use a knitting needle. Which most of us probably have in our strips here. Mm -hmm. So the first step is to cut strips out of your fabric. Yes. First, I like to cut out strips three inch wide and then cut them into a square, approximately three by three. It doesn't have to be precise. It can be bigger or smaller. So you're not measuring? No, not at all. Oh, awesome. Okay. okay. And you've got quite a stack going. Okay. And then I'll take one square and I'll put it on my palm like this, mm -hmm. right side facing up. This is wrong side, right side. Mm -hmm. And then I place my chopstick in the center of the square, wrap around the fabric in the center and dab a small amount of craft glue, mm -hmm. then just Poke it in there like that. Wow. Okay, and and how about how far it. did you go? Maybe about a half inch or so? Um, yeah. As long as this fabric doesn't come out, you don't have to go too deep. Mm -hmm. It will take care of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do it again. Center, wrap it around, dab a little, and then just stick it in there. Okay, just like that. This is really a great um, stress relieving project <laughs> after having a long day at work. Or um, when your kids give you a hard time, I just do like <laughs> poke, 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 and it really makes me feel good. Wow. And now, after a little while, it's going to look like that. Yes. And you only need to cover one side of the wreath. You don't have to go both sides. Just some for the inner side, outer side, and then the entire um, surface you cover with the fabric. Mm -hmm. And you, the inside and outside. Yes, just like the halfway through will be great. Right. Mm -hmm. Now is there any rules about how many colors you use? Oh or anything? no, it's up to you. You can just use single color, like entirely linen um, wreath would look nice. Mm -hmm. Or you can use recycled, um, upcycled fabrics from your house, like old sheets and kids clothing and mm -hmm. everything. It's This is a great way to recycle um, fabrics in your right. house. Now the one we have here hangs the booties, but you have some adorable little baby rattles. Now these again are projects from your book. Yes. This one is a bunny rattle and this is a panda battle. And I um, put some bells inside so it does make um, a sound effect. That's so darling. And are these considered a, an easy project or a more advanced project? Well, this one consists of um, sewing and embroidery, so mm -hmm. this may be just a little um, intermediate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this project happens to have a little key tucked in it, which would make this wreath a great housewarming gift. Tell us about what this project is from yes. your book. This is a Matryoshka um, key cover, um, and it, Russian doll is my favorite, so I like to feature Matryoshka in my project. Wow, that's just a great project. I can't wait to try this one. And another one that would make a great accent are these little, these are hair bows, right? Yes, I have two young girls, so I like to make these for my girls. Um, these are very puffy, has cotton inside, and it will make a great gift for girls. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Amy, for sharing this, this great recycled fabric wreath and some of the projects from your book, Zaka okay. Handmade. Thank you so much for having me, Stephanie.